This get-together here at Cheatham Park isn't just a celebration, it's a call for action. Music and barbecue filled the air Sunday afternoon. A voter registration tent light at the center of this mini festival at Cheatham Park. A celebration of Governor Kim Reynolds' move four days before, restoring voting rights to most Iowans convicted of felonies. We can vote now. It's a big deal for people like Edward Young. That feels great, you know, not having my, my rights to vote for over 20 some years is definitely a privilege that I could go ahead and vote, not just for me, but you know what I'm saying, just to, just to be a part of it. It feels good, you know what I'm saying? I know my baby right here feels the same way. The governor's executive order ended Iowa's status as the last state with such strict restrictions that disproportionately impacted Iowans of color. It came after six weeks of pressure from the Des Moines Black Lives Matter movement. <laughs> It's a fight Robert Pate had taken on for years. He leads Inmate Movement Against Gang Evolution, or IMAGE, which put on Sunday's event alongside the group Dads with a Purpose. We just want people to kind of get involved and kind of know their rights, mingle, and, and, and come together with some camaraderie. Pate says it's imperative that Iowans of color get to the polls this November. It is so important for people of color to cast their ballot right now. I mean, uh, for so long we've been enslaved with uh, the lack of education, of understanding that voting is so important. And uh, we have equal opportunity, we have our rights, it's time to utilize them. In Des Moines, Chris Goffner, KCCI 8 News, Iowa's news.